Hello, happy Thursday. I am sitting down to plan my meals. Well, I actually did plan them yesterday, but I just didn't get around to making a video. So I wanted to show you what I planned for this week. And actually, I got some help from my family this week. Um, usually I ask, what do you want to eat next week? And they tell me food, but um, they actually had some ideas. So let me share my screen so you can see. So I have been using the four week gut protocol meal plan template, but based on their um, request, I am just doing a regular portion fix. So I actually have open, the way I start my meal planning is I pop open last week's meal plan and then I change out the dates. Halloween is on Monday. I can't believe November is also starting next week. So I pop in the dates and everything like that. So then it's easier for me to just kind of move things around from there. So I did take out all the A's and B's because I didn't want to confuse anybody if you stumbled across this <laughs> and under just regular portion fix. So I start with um, my shake every day. And um, I do my shake, um, spinach, and a half a banana. And copy and paste that down for every day. And then I pick two meal twos for the week and I alternate them. So my son requested um, the pumpkin muffins that I made a few weeks back, a few weeks back. So the pumpkin muffins are actually a beach body recipe. You can find them on the um, Beach Body blog. I linked it for you here. And it also has a um, frosting that was made with the old um, pumpkin spice shakeology that isn't made anymore. I didn't make the frosting, so I just made the muffins, and so I just count them as a yellow. And then the second one, I've got the chicken maple breakfast sausage, some asparagus, and then oatmeal. So I'm just going to alternate those for the week. Um, and then I've left in, so to be honest, this week we were still kind of getting over our, our flu from last week, and um, I ended up having leftovers for lunch instead of making my normal meals. So I do still have everything to make the things that were on last week's menu, so I'm just gonna carry those over. So the chickpea salad bowl, and then the Asian noodle bowl. And then I alternate those. And then I'm gonna keep, um, I've got the mini cucumbers. I like to swap those out with pickled okra sometimes too. Um, with some coconut yogurt, um, some, uh, some sliced up apples, and then um, some cinnamon and honey. That's delicious. The cucumbers you just eat separately. <laughs> the coconut yogurt and apples all go together. <coughs> and then my second snack is the pear spinach salad with blueberries and walnuts. So I've got everything planned now. All I have left to plan for is um, my dinners. And so the nice thing about kind of alternating those is when you go to make your grocery list, you can pick out, you can get your groceries for this, for that, for that one, and then for the next one, and then the rest you just have to worry about dinners. So you're not having to worry about getting something different for every day of the week. So my husband requested a healthy chicken spaghetti, and when I Googled and I looked for it on Pinterest, nothing came up. But then I did a Google while ago, and I did find one. Um, Cooking for Keeps has a one, and I linked it here. Um, so, and it doesn't use like Velveeta and stuff like that, so I am interested to try that one. And, oh, that has, okay, that does have the um, a blue cheese so I need to go ahead and drop down. I'm going to take out the coconut yogurt and I'm going to move this blue container down. Sometimes these containers are wonky to move around so maybe it'll work right for me what I have to do. Actually, let me see. I will cut it and I will paste it and it will act very strange. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is about these. I'm sure there's something very simple that I just don't know about, but um, I don't know why the word tucks are so hard for me to work with the shapes within them. But we will get that one to work eventually. I'll fix that later. Okay, so I've dropped the blue down because that does have cheese in it. So actually, I think it's good enough. Um, sometimes you have to redo the way you find them, but it always pop up where it is. Okay, so I'm going to delete it. <coughs> and then I have one down here that has the blue, so I'll just copy it. And, and this 
Sometimes that's easier to just pop it in there. And then I'll switch out the recipe. Boom, there we go. Chicken spaghetti with our blue in the right place. All right, and then for Halloween, I usually make jack-o'-lantern stuffed peppers, so you can make any stuffed peppers to make them jack-o'-lanterns you just cut out. But I did find a recipe from the Beachbody blog again, um, but I've been doing that with all sorts of different stuffed pepper recipes. Um, so we'll do that for Halloween night. On Tuesday, my son did request tacos. So um, I will get stuff uh, to make like the taco shells and stuff for him, but I'm going to have taco salad. And then Wednesday, he requested chicken parmesan. You can tell my family's missing cheese, apparently. So, um, so we'll have some cheese this week. Um, the chicken parmesan, that's a recipe for my website, as is the taco salad. And then on Thursdays, and we have leftovers. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, we eat out. So... That is basically how I created my meal plan for this week with some input from my family and just going back regular portion fix so that we can add in things um, that they were wanting like cheese. But if you have questions, let me know and I am happy to answer them.